That's a song that's mentioned. You know how to search for something? Okay, okay. Hello, everybody. Good evening and welcome. You hello, too. Hello. Wow, it's so great to see everybody here tonight. Thank you for joining us. Good and Andrew, just reminding you. Oh, I didn't make you co-host. Oops. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Trying to... um. All of these things, I don't know. All right, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so Daddy will be joining us shortly. He's finishing his dinner. He's on a very specific regimen that he waits for no man, including his online book launch. But he will be coming very soon. And um, let me just make him the coast, and I'll just be able to do this real quick. Okay, very good. All right, so again, we want to welcome you all. Thank you for coming and for being here. We're broadcast, we're recording this, as you know. We're also doing it a simulcast on uh, live on Facebook Live on my timeline, and it's public. So if you're on Facebook, please just let me know where you're watching from. I'd love to know where you, you guys are watching from, too, if you don't mind putting it in the chat. And this will also eventually be on um, uh, YouTube as well. But it's not right now can you go to youtube i'm gonna just ask you to mute your phones if you're not you know talking we will have an opportunity for people to speak and you will definitely have an opportunity so let me just give you a quick overview of what we're going to do tonight so just a basic introduction and then i'm going to kind of just lay the groundwork for um what we're trying to do. Then my brother, Michael, will make a presentation on how the book came together and some of the behind the scenes of what it took to make it happen. And then um, have daddy say a couple of things and then we'll have it as an open forum for people to ask questions and share what you would like to share. If you've already read the book, maybe some of your thoughts on the book and so forth. So let me just see, uh, get a sense of who's here right now. And just to um, acknowledge you. So we have people, we have our relatives, family, and friends, people from church. We have some news representatives. Welcome. Uh, let me see. Uh, Ed Campy, one of our government officials, Martin County Commissioner. Hi, Ed. Let's see here. Um, a lot of McHugh's. Carol, uh, our wonderful friend from, from Canada, Richard Cole. Pastor Donald King, Pauline, the Grimms, the News, Myrna Moore. So, okay, Andrew, can you just monitor the chat to make sure people get in in case I get caught up and then don't, I'm not able to. Okay. Go just over to the alphabet. Okay, right now it seems to not be anything there, but just, just keep looking at it for me. Okay, so we want to thank you all again. And we're going to just start. I wanted to say a brief word of prayer to, to just acknowledge the Almighty in this. So dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the opportunity to meet tonight. Bless this meeting. Bless this occasion. It has taken 80 years for us to arrive at this moment. So we want to thank you for making it possible and that this will be a blessing and all that we share will be beneficial and enlightening to everyone. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And special blessings on all of you here tonight. Okay, so with that being said, I do have a slideshow, everyone. Um, this might be a good time to, to share it. I'm trying to figure out the name of it. Um, I will share some various links. Actually, before I do that, and I will share it again a little bit later on as well. What's um, the name of it? Can you, can you please mute if you're, if you're not speaking? I didn't want to hit mute all because it might like shut down everything, but I, that's why it's not muted all. But, um, okay. So I will share some links and so forth. I will come back with that because we'd love to have your emails if you'd like to share them so we can sell, share a special gift with you afterwards, which is like a commemorative uh, bookmark of the event. And also let you know when the ebook is available. Right now it's not out, but the actual book, the, the for what now the forgettable 
it's the, the forgotten, forgotten rebirth of World War II. <laughs> the forgotten. So, Emily, you may have to mute the entire thing. Yeah, I, I'm seeing that I have to do that. But it's a little bit okay. All right. You know what is true? I'll figure that out once I get off the screen. In the meantime, what I would like to do is hand this over to my brother, Michael, let him do his presentation, and I can share some more things afterwards, okay? You muted everybody. Emily, you're going to have to unmute yourself. Yeah. I muted myself. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. okay. You hear me? So I'm going to let Michael go with this, and then I'll come back and allow my, Michael to, to do his presentation at this time. And this is my brother, Michael McHugh. Go ahead. <laughs> the editor of this book. Uh, greetings to everybody, and uh, great appreciation that you have made the effort to be part of this historic uh, Zoom call. It's not just historic from the standpoint of my father's publication, but the fact that you are participating in it uh, is, a, is a great testament. Uh, just a note in terms of the availability of the book and the versions that you are able to uh, uh, obtain. Uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the hard copy is done in black and white. There are illustrations of uh, events throughout the book in color but they're in black and white in the book online at Amazon. Uh, the ebook, as Emily referenced, will be available in a week or so uh, through Amazon. And if you would, we provide you an opportunity at the end to leave your email. You don't have to identify more than that, uh, but just so that we can notify you when the ebook is available and should you wish to, uh, to pursue it, uh, that's, it'll just be a reminder at that time uh, to do so. Uh, the ebook is in color, so that you understand that. So why is this book important? Uh, there are a number of factors. First is the history. World War II is a, is a great fascination and has been and probably will be for all time. There are so many lessons uh, to be learned from it, so many, so many events uh, that came as a result of World War II. Uh, my father played his part, and... What is remarkable is that he he wrote it down. He made the effort. And of all the millions of people that have participated in the war and also did their left their legacy behind, uh, I think few can claim to be 103 to have done so. So uh, it, it's historical again in that regard. With respect to the... Uh, the length, length and breadth of the scope, if you will, of the book. It's not only talking about the important contribution of Jamaica, though a small island is a big country in, 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 in impact. With respect to the United Kingdom, which at that time, uh, Jamaica was a part of the British, the Commonwealth, the empire, if you will, at that time. So England is, is, a, is a major part. And then ultimately the United States, which saved us uh, in World War II. We have to acknowledge that. And dad contributed to the labor shortage to alleviate that so that those troops could be fed on the front. Without those crops being reaped, they would have starved. And one of the, the uh, observations made uh, during the war, when the war was coming to a close, was when the British were marching through the liberating of France, it was a noticeable difference between their state of being versus that of the Americans, because the Americans were very well fed. And it's because of my father's efforts that they were fed that way and could sustain themselves. So the book uh, talks about that aspect of the direct war effort itself, but it also talks about life as it existed in the United States at that time. The music that you'll hear is, is going to be reminiscent from the era and the music that he heard during this period of time when he was when he was a war worker and ultimately how he ended up uh, in New York. The fact that he was in New York, it's still it's just a divine providence that that's the case. 
He could have been sent anywhere else in the country, but it would have been a totally different experience had, had that been the case. By being in New York State, he not only uh, was involved with uh, gypsum mining and uh, reaping of onions uh, in upstate New York, but he was involved in New York City with uh, the National Sugar Company. And uh, as a result of being in the city itself, he was able to take advantage of a lot of the cultural activities which he reflects in the book. So you get a, a sense of what it was like to be in wartime America in New York in particular, but in, in general, you get a good sense of that. Also, the contribution that Jamaicans in particular made to the cultural identity of this country, United States. During that time, there was segregation uh, in the armed forces. America was uh, undergoing a change and the World War II brought about the culmination of the changes that ultimately resulted in the civil rights movement and so forth. So Jamaicans were very, very important in breaking some of those barriers because they came with an attitude with, that was different from what they encountered in the United States. And they were not as tolerant uh, of the of the environment. So they contributed their 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 way of of dealing with that so that's also a part of the history and uh, an important part of the cultural development that this country underwent so with that in mind uh and I've, as i've mentioned my father at 103 working with him to bring this book to being was was quite uh, a responsible challenge on my part having to uh, de deal with his memories and of things and bringing memories back to life through all these years. And let's keep in mind, this book took 80 years to accomplish, not just in the fact that it started with his diaries, his writings in the 1940s during the war, but throughout that period, he wrote various drafts on and off again. Then in, in the, uh, 1978, he sat down and did typing. And then we got the new, the computer got on board and we were able to get it onto the computer. And then he's we, we attempted to get it published in the 1990s. Uh, but the uh, we weren't able to uh, complete that endeavor at that time. But it allowed us... To, to regroup and then I took a closer look at what he had written and then realized that there needed to be fact checking to uh, to make sure that this story was told correctly and then one thing led to another and I, I can say to you that I know a, an awful lot about book editing now and I also give great credit to the internet for which through which I was able to verify information and I didn't use the, well, the internet said so. I used the internet to find where the internet said so. So uh, all the, all the fact checking was done uh, to be precise and a great challenge, but a great uh, privilege too, to have done so. So I just want to acknowledge uh, the, the aid of, of the, uh, of our technology in making this happen. So in doing so, I also got to meet uh, people who uh, were part of that this period of time and I was able to be in touch with the uh, historical societies of Elba and Oakfield these two places are in upstate New York and Elba was where dad first worked as a farm worker reaping onions and potatoes On, uh, Elba is one of the largest onion producing areas in the world it was extremely important. The, the crops were dying without having labor and they were in desperate need of the Jamaicans who came to, to reap that crop. In fact, businesses went out of business because they couldn't get the crops reaped in time. Then during the winter months, the gypsum company, the gypsum mine in, in Oakfield, which was close to Elba, needed workers. And why is gypsum so important? Well, that was what makes your drywall. And it was revolution. It was, a, it was a revolutionary construction material at that time. 
with drywall, you can easily, more easily customize the interior of a building. And with the war going in full swing, they needed military housing and gypsum drywall was what provided that. And my father was integral in providing the 1.5 billion uh, tons. I, I don't know if tons is correct, but uh, it was a huge number, a huge amount of drywall that was produced during the war. And he, he, he had his hand in that. So in doing so, I'd like to acknowledge Mr. Earl Roth, who was the president of the Historical Society uh, for Elba, of Elba, and Miss uh, Laurie Nanny, who is the president of the Oakfield Historical Society. And they were both kind enough to provide pictures from that time, and which I would not have otherwise had the, uh, uh, the access to. And in fact, it was uh, Mr. Roth's providing newspaper clippings uh, after the first edition came out that prompted me to then say we needed to create a second edition. And the second edition uh, definitely uh, was worth the effort to do. And I thank Mr. Roth for providing some of the materials that made that possible. So there are so many other people who could be thanked. Uh, not least of which are the people who are talked about in the in the book. There are many 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 people who Dad remembered well and note and and recorded, and it's to his great credit that he could remember these people. It's, it's just amazing, and he up until a short time ago, uh, if if not now, if he were asked at the right time, he can remember people from great from uh, from kindergarten. He, he knows their names. It's just an astounding memory uh, that he has. So I give him great credit for that. So uh, let me just conclude by stating that uh, I have also been challenged to do my book. And uh, as a footnote, Dad's book has been, is a great inspiration. And if Mr. Raymond Bury is on the line, who happens to be a relative on my mother's side, um, I assure him that the 30 years that it has taken to get to this point since I promised to do my book with our, my research, it will not be the 80 years it took for my father and I to get to this point. So there is hope. So you'll be, you'll be hearing from me on that front. Anyway, uh, thank you again. Uh, I'm greatly, greatly uh, privileged that you are all participating in this call, that you make the time for this. And my father, uh, when he sees this, as he will, the recording, uh, he, he will be greatly, greatly joyful uh, of your all being a part. So thank you very much, friends, relatives, those who I don't know, the, uh, those people uh, from the media, the dignitaries who have uh, given off their time to be present. Uh, all of you, we appreciate it very, very much. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Michael, for that. And at this time, uh, we'd like to share a little um, slideshow. However, we will have opportunities for Q&A. So I know some people uh, raise their hands, want to ask some questions. We definitely want to hear from you, and we will give you the opportunity shortly. But we'll show the slideshow first, and then we'll we'll open it up for that dialogue and the opportunity to talk. Um, I guess this might be a good up before I even do that. Maybe just show a few of the artifacts first, following on what Michael just said. Um, Daddy's notes that he kept, his diary, he kept them on loose leaf sheets of paper that look like this. And these are dated 1945, 1943. So these are his originals and we put them in the archive um, binders to preserve them and in, in, in his handwriting, obviously. And um, I had to photocopy this book, send it to New York so that Michael could have it as a reference. So Michael has done some very thorough, um, what shall I say? A de deposition work on this book to fact check to make sure every every date made sense that every ball game daddy said he went to it indeed happened on that date so he corroborated all of that based on these um notes okay 
And then in 1995, Daddy put it together in another notebook to distill the essence of that diary. And then Michael took it to the next level where we now today have the actual book. So it's gone through a series of steps to appreciate that. I also will take the opportunity to show you this um, map that Daddy drew by hand. Enter Helena. Say hi, Helena. Okay. Hello. Hello. This is our sister, Helena. And this map, I know the lights are kind of glaring on it, but here, let's turn it like this a little bit. No, no, no. Leave the lights alone. Um, this is a hand-drawn map of Europe during the war that Daddy did. And as the Axis powers or as the different countries were falling to the Axis powers, he would draw it in. So you can't see all the detail here right now, but at least, no, that makes it worse. Mm -hmm. Let's leave it there. Um, but this is in the book. A copy of the map is in the book as well. But this this map we had had gone missing for a number of years and was found scrolled up in a closet and then surfaced in time for this book, praise God. So here it is. And Michael had it framed and gave it to daddy for his 103rd birthday this past summer, August of 103, of, of 2023. Okay, amen. So that's it for the artifacts. And oh yes, and President Biden kindly sent daddy a nice little um, birthday card acknowledging his service and his 103rd birthday. So amen to that too. Okay. On to the slideshow. <laughs> the president, the president will be getting a copy of the book, by the way. Amen, amen. And um, so please drop questions in the chat if things come to mind, so you don't forget. But as I said, we'll have the opportunity to um share with that. Okay, so on to the three minute slideshow, and then we shall. All right, go from there. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. Um, let me just there's a hand up there, am I? I know. Stuart, we're we're gonna have the questions after, okay? If you don't mind. I sent him a I sent him a text. I I I we're good. Just we're good. All right, so I think I should start this first and then do this. Okay, just one moment. Okay, here we go. And just confirm that you hear it okay. Is that the music, Emily? No yes, sound, Emily. No sound, Emily. Mm. No sound? No, you need the music, yeah. No okay. sound. We'll get it together. Give me a second. Michael, we had heard it before, right? I just want to make sure. Yes. Yes. What's different here? See if you can get it. Let's just try it again. Hopefully it will comply. All right, all right. I was just about telling you, Emily, I read that book. Thank you. Are you hearing it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, all right, thanks. Thank you so much, Brother McCree, for that book. I read it in like two days. Right, and I couldn't stop reading. So I have just about 10 more pages. I'll talk with you when it's done. Thank you. And now that I am hearing all this about this book, you bet I look forward to start reading my this history. Good, good, good. Thank you, Mr. Thank you very much, Brother McHugh. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yes, I'm telling him I read the book and it's wonderful. Wonderful. I sent you, I sent to tell you that. And I'm sure that it will still with you. But I really enjoyed the book. Very good. God. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I watch this. I think I'm Can you just, can you take over for a moment, please? I'll be right back with you. Or we can ask the questions. Anyone who has questions for Michael, please ask them at this time. And then I'll be able to come back, okay? Uh, okay, I can maybe make some comments about uh, the, when I was, how, how I put the book together. At the back of the book, when I was, it started off with just my father's story, and it was it was purely just going to be that the a reflection of the diary, and then his his subsequent uh, compilation of notes, and then uh, the his his manuscript. Uh, along the way, the manuscript was transcribed by voice recognition software into the computer and then we got hit by a uh, a mal uh, a malware a virus that wiped out the computer version of the book so i had to start from scratch uh to re to put it back into the system and it led to challenges of making sure the language that the computer understood the language i was using because i would say one word and it would come out it's totally different. So I had to be mindful of that. It's, it's had some very funny consequences, as you can imagine, with the transcription from the uh, uh, electronically. So that was a challenge. Then, as I was going through the research, I took notes as to when I started a particular line of of, uh, of, of research and the steps it took. And then I realized that this would be useful as a chronology within the, within the book. And the way Dad 
wrote the story, and I give him a lot of credit for doing so, he didn't write it in a, in a linear fashion. He wrote it, uh, in, he started off in the future and then goes back in time and, and brings you up to events that he then had talked about in the future before. So you're not, you're, you're not just going from A, B, C. You have to go from A to D and then from D back to C. And it gives you juxtaposition of events that normally would not be as as relatable had they just been t said in a linear fashion. So with that being uh, the case, it then made sense, however, to create a chronology so that you could then see how, how, how everything fit in terms of absolute time uh, without having to try to reorganize the book that way. It was best to leave the book in the fashion that dad wrote it and then have a chronology that you could look at the end. And then with that, I was able to uh, oh, yeah. explain the notes. Never do it, so you have to worry. All right, there's a echo. Voice, but the eye work. Uh, so yeah, okay. All right, so I think we're okay. Exactly yeah, Emily? Okay, I think we're getting dad here. Okay, oh, he'll soon be ready. Just continue. Yeah, okay, if good. It's good. You remember the right time. It's good. We okay. might. I think Stuart wanted to ask something if he wanted to ask it now. Yes, or okay, what? sure, sure. Hello, uh, I hope you can hear me from Scotland. Um, yes. Uh, th thank you for the acknowledgement because I'm a bit new to this. Um, the question I have to ask um, Mr. McHugh Sr. is, do, in his opinion, does he think that World War II is in fact over? It's my own opinion that it is not. But I'm very interested in, in what um, Mr. McHugh has to say about this uh, because I feel his perspective is one of the few that is actually qualified to answer this from a, an educated position. That would be for my father you're, you're talking about, yeah? That's correct. Yeah, I'm glad you refer to him as senior, so I'm still young and junior. Good, thank you. Um, uh, <laughs> age, indeed. <laughs> I'll leave it to yourself, sir. Yes, I appreciate it. Okay. Um, Stuart, let me just say that right now, Daddy is not able to answer you. So, um, so I can blend in, no problem. Yeah. Okay. But that's I could perhaps just respond a little bit. Uh, that's an that's an important question. Uh, I think. And just in terms of the book and the contribution to it, uh, in a sense, World War II isn't over. In in the sense that he he really wanted this book to be written, and uh, definitely put in the time and effort for it to be remembered. Uh, so, and those memories, even though they're from eighty years ago, are very very present now. As far as what. The, the ramifications of what has happened as a result of World War II, uh, we're living we're living evidence of that in one way or another. World War II changed the world. There's absolutely no question about it. Uh, so to the extent that are we still work, uh, living World War II or fighting World War II, uh, though I'm not the one you asked the question to, but given given the question, my I'll give you my that's my perspective. I would say that. Uh, we we are in a sense yes, but Dad, uh, I, I think would share that, that through the fact that he did take the effort to get this far, that he would say yes, there it's still present in some form. Is that that Emily? I see Dad. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Sure. That's thank you. Yeah, thank you for that question. I appreciate your 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 answer asking. No problem. Yeah. We have um, Daddy's um, here now. So let me just give him an opportunity to, he had a rough day, people. Let me just make that known, but he is here now. So praise God. Daddy, you have 32 people on to help you celebrate your book. I have to talk this way so that it picks up the sound. Okay. So you want to say hello, daddy? Daddy. Look that way. You want to say hi? Say hello. Hello, Juhu. <laughs> Hello to people from around the world, you include relatives, <laughs> friends. Yeah, look over here, Dad. He doesn't know where to look. Look at the television. You see all those people above there. Yes. You see your grand nephew. 
So how we how we have this set up? We have the big the television so he can see everybody, and then I have my laptop over here and another screen where we're trying to do so he doesn't know where to look. So, Daddy, look where look this way, and just wave. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna wait. You see what a computer there's is? there's Maurice, Arthur McHugh, the Grahams, Doyce and Donald. Let me, here, let me make me see if I can see people's names. Let me tell you who's here, Daddy. Um, Kathy, Chris Cook, Crystal, David Mon Louis, um, Earl Roth from Elba, New York, Daddy. Ed Campy, Commissioner, who you got to meet when we went to visit with them in Martin County, County. Harmony Francis, iPhone, Jan Marie, your great niece, Jason McHugh, your great nephew, uh, Stephanie and JJ, who came to visit. Uh, JJ was fascinated with daddy's, um, his whole history. And he came over on uh, this weekend with his mom, Stephanie, and we had a wonderful time. And he was in the photos. He's the young man looking at the map and telling us all the history of World War II. So I'm sure he may want to say something if he does. Uh, let me see who else is here. Kaylin Monroe, Kim McHugh, you're no another great niece. Lou Smar, all the way from Canada, our cousin. Michael, your son. Carol Noble, Richard Cole's daughter. You know Richard Cole, your good friend. Daddy, Richard Cole. Mm -hmm. Yes, he's just a little about it. Pastor Christo, your, one of your favorite pastors. Pastor Donald and Lois King from, I was going to say Canada, but <laughs> Georgia. Our good family friends, Pauline, another good friend, Pearl Davis from Liverpool, Shelly, Stuart Brown from Scotland, the Grahams, our friends from church, WPBF 25 News. Wow, that's amazing. WPEC is, I assume that's another news station. Welcome. Myrna Moore, a good friend from church, and all these wonderful people. Everybody are wonderful friends and family visiting you. Okay. Yeah, he he yeah, this this was not the day, but the show has to go <laughs> on. Daddy, you feel like saying anything? Okay. When he does, if he does, we will come back to him. He can speak, he does speak normally. It's just this afternoon was rough for him. Let me just put it that way. So we're glad he's at least sitting here. Um, so with that said, let me open it up, give everyone anyone who wants to say anything a chance to unmute yourself. Speak, participate. So the floor is open. Do I have to unmute or are you people can unmute Any yourselves? Any questions you might have for him, we okay. might be able to. Yeah, him. now let me see. Can you unmute yourselves or did I have to do? I don't even remember where that is. Oh. We can unmute ourselves. Yeah. Okay, unmute. great. Hey, Go uncle, ahead. What is your diet? What is your living? What do you eat? <laughs> Oh, what is the diet? What is he eating? Yes. Daddy. Okay. Cornmeal porridge every single morning. <laughs> well, it's not his diet that's keeping him alive. Well, that's it's not his. Can it, they hear you? Can you hear yeah, Helena? The secret is not his Need necessary, his diet. I, what I, is, what quick, is let me answer quickly for you. Um, in terms of diet, the, the girls, as I call them, my sisters, I call them the girls. So that's that's why my dress. Um, they they um, uh, give them uh, most of it vegetarian. It's a vegetarian diet, uh, not necessarily because it's prescribed for him, but that's just the 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 the, the, the habit of the food that they have. So vegetarian. But as <laughs> Emily, Helena was stating, it is more of, if you if your question has to do with what's the secret of his life. Part, that's just one way of looking at your question. Uh, it's his mental attitude and the fact that he was all he's always been physically active. And up until even even now, he still walks, uses uses his walker to, 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 to take uh, relatively long distances for his age. But up until 98, uh, he was jogging. And I would jog with him, so I, I have a wit I'm a witness to it. Uh, full full fledged jogging, and uh, without any assistance. And then, come around 102 or so, I would say maybe 101. Slowed down just a little bit, uh, <laughs> and and how still has to use a walker. Uh, but uh, as far as an incentive for the rest of us on this call, he he he's the guy. He is he is the incentive. Oh. There's no question about it. But it's, it's, yeah. 
Yeah, Michael, but just so people understand, he likes his bananas, he likes his cornmeal (laughs) porridge, he loves raisins, he's a raisin freak, he loves raisins, and um, grapes. If anyone wants a piece of the Gitmati, grapes it is. Seedless, grapes. Yeah, Stuart, you said something, Stuart? Stuart? Active body, active mind, positive mental attitude all the way, 100%, sir. Yes. That's it, that's it. And I see Pauline has her hand up. Pauline, you want to say something? Yes, I sure do. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello. Good afternoon, First, Pauline. I must say hello, Daddy. I know you can hear me, but it's all right. We'll talk again when I see you. Yeah, he can hear. And I must extend at my. Uh, there's no word to describe the Macus right now. This is elated. This is phenomenal. And for the editor. I give you two thumbs up. <laughs> but this is really, really... I have to go and buy more of these books because I do need to save them for my grandsons. Mm-hmm. This is not just a story to be told and leave. This is a story to oh. be... Mm-hmm. This is an antique story, put it that way. Uh, you and just... I'm really happy to be here. I could not have missed it, Emily. You know, just really, really. See, Daddy nodding his head. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pauline, yes. thank you for that. You just reminded thank me to, to say that uh, this is this this book does go beyond the history that it records. This this is a testament to the human will that yes, somebody indeed. that somebody at one hundred and three can do this. And even though Dad is having a a little of a bad day today. Uh, He's when I speak with him, he's quite lucid uh, with me. So uh, he he's a living memory of all of this. But this is an example of that there's no barriers in life. You know, the only barriers you put there is what you do yourself. Mm-hmm. And he's bro- and he's broken through these to write this book. The book is that it's a, if only for that reason alone, it's a testament to what we can do. So. I- you know, Thank you for that, Michael. Uh, Pearl Davis has her hand up. Hi, Pearl Bonashir. Hello, Emily. Can you hear me? Yes, thank you. Yes, very well. Yeah, very clear. Hello, Emily. This is Gwen, your neighbor. And of course, your daddy has been such an inspiration to me. I, w- I have watched him over the years from my kitchen window. And I just love him. And he is just so brilliant. Oh, wow. Thank you for that, Gwen. We're so excited that you could be on. And thank you for always being encouraging of Daddy. And, you never uh, know who's watching. You never know. He encouraged watching. me. He encouraged me. Mm. Absolutely. And you know what? You'll be happy to know that, was it last week? He actually, for the past few weeks, his walks have been not so many. And he would walk maybe to the end of the driveway. Last week, he actually walked to the end of the block, which is right across from Miss Gwen. So um, there you go. What does it say? The book two, is sold two, out. 200 yards round trip. 200 yards round trip? Mm-hmm. It's very unpredictable. You don't. Yeah, know you never it's... know. So we have to kind of just monitor. So hold on a minute. It says the books are sold out. What What is going on? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Not, you can still, I think you can make your order and it will be delivered. I don't know. Yeah. Is, uh, if you have any problems, let me know. We will make sure that this all works. But By I know. Way, Emily, maybe I could just say the, re- the release date of the book was scheduled for today. That's an Amazon uh, projected date. Uh, so uh, there may be, a, if you order now, it, you may, there be, may be a delay to get it because they have to fulfill the orders. But uh, today is the official release date on Amazon, uh, so that's why we we coordinated this with with uh, with this particular date. And coincidentally, uh, Bob Marley's movie. So, in terms of Jamaican activities, that that happens to be a coincidental event with with this. Though Dad's Dad's book stands alone in uh, for what well, we it's, it's, it's a big big month. It's Reggae Month. Bob Marley's birthday, the release of his book, Black History Month, all of these occasions. And this was very fitting that Daddy's book be released right now 
to mm -hmm. add that perspective of history so greatly needed. And what you will find when you read the book or those who already have read it is that it provides perspective. You can't make assumptions. It's not a book that, oh, his experience is automatically understood. No, not at all. And that's why it's so interesting. And it really enlightens and broadens our horizons and it adds nuance of meaning, which is so needed today, where those Indeed. types of things are just broad brushed and uh, side swept. But he captured that, the parallel track of what was going on in the greater war, plus what he was experiencing. And he t wove that all together in a beautiful tapestry. So uh, we look forward to that. And by the way, people, please write your Amazon reviews I know a lot of you have read it. Put the reviews, your comments on Amazon. We'd really appreciate that. It makes a big difference. And the link I dropped for Amazon, you can also go there and, and write reviews as well. Okay, any other questions, thoughts, comments? I am. Oh, yes, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm, Emily. Uh, I, I have just David to... Mont-Louis raised his hand. Let him, let him speak. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Mont-Louis. You want to unmute and ask your question? I don't know if he's okay. Well, when you're available, just let's let us know. Just jump on in. Okay, Michael, what do you want to say? Yes, I just wanted to make an additional comment concerning Mr. Roth, who I greatly appreciate has joined us on this on this call. Uh, as I'd mentioned earlier, he had provided uh, on his own initiative. Uh, newspaper clippings from that time when the Jamaicans were first coming to Elba. So it really added uh, some substance to dad's words. So reading his words and then seeing that everything he said was true. I mean, it was true. We knew that. But his recollection uh, was was as contemporaneous. It was it was real and not secondhand. Uh, and also his experience with the people he met in upstate New York uh, also reflects the meeting of cultures and how people from different cultures they got they they work together for a common purpose and how he worked with uh, the the bur the burrs and the marbles who Mr. Arath would know the, those names uh, those are the farmers he worked with and the and the bond he he created with them and how they uh, view the world and the war and and his p participation with them in their in their trials and tribulations as Americans. So it it, it tells a broad story. And as Emily, as you said, it it, it reflects more than just uh, just a simple story. It reflects a, 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 a unity of mankind, if you will. Okay, very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. good. Is it okay if I speak now? Oh, yes. please, 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 go Mr. ahead. Molloy, thank you. A blessed good evening to each and every one of you, especially the family members. Someone said it earlier on, and I'd just like to echo as well, this is history. I think it is fair. If, I'm, if I, I have it wrong, then I can be corrected. I don't think this has ever happened before. So this will go on for a long time. I don't think anyone will there be a second or third to have achieved that again in our lifetime, not in mine, certainly, 103 mm. years old. So this in itself is history, and this also needs to be documented going forward. People will remember this for a long time, and just listening to each and every one of you, I just want to say, what else I see? I see family and being with that at this point in time. This too must be noted. Respect for and, that. Um, and I really am encouraged by that. And I wish you all, all the best and your dad. And I thank Crystal for sending me the invite. And I can say, like all of us would say, when the question will be asked, were you there? Were you there? <laughs> yes. Well, here, I was there. You here? I, and the pussycat as well. So Joey used to say he was here. Yes. <laughs> so we <laughs> were there. I saw it with my eyes. Yeah. No one told me I saw. May God continue to bless each and every one of you. Thank you. 
Amen. May success Amen. be yours. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was amazing. Thank you so much for that. A real blessing indeed. We greatly appreciate it. Um, you see, I counted De nada, a De nada. <laughs> So, so you know, there's a lot of fresh air on the Isle of Sky. That's why. Stuart... Is this the Isle of Sky? Oh, Is this the Isle of Sky? He's from Caribbean. We're on the we are we are the other end of the Caribbean here. We get the wet and the wild oh. and the stormy. I see. So you've colonized this Isle of Skye. Just so you um, know, I, I I I visited the Isle of Skye. So I I am I I, visit, I actually was there, and played the Sky Boat song on the on the uh, the ferry over to the island of Skye. Well, if you got the ferry, you're dating your time here because we've now built a bridge with the help oh, of American. No. Private, it was with, with the help of American bridge. private <laughs> finance, we built a bridge. But if any of you, if any of you are in the north of Scotland, mm. give me a call. I'll have you picked up in Inverness and we'll get you shown around like a local. There's oh. a difference between arriving here as a tourist and being treated like a local. Absolutely. And you are local. Thank you. Your yes. Mars originate from Fivey. That's okay. right, which is which is Aberdeenshire. Yes, correct. It's, it's the other side. We, we, we like to be polite about them over here on the West Coast. I'm sure you understand the human condition. It's no different yeah. wherever you are upon this earth. But mm. if you're in Scotland, please... Knock me up. Let me know. I, I'd like to show you where you where we're all, our part of our world, Mar worldwide. We're global. Thank so you. just so yeah. people know, Thank for the Mar family, that's on my mother's side of the family. McHugh, obviously my dad, but Mar is my mother, Lurleen McHugh. So <laughs> big up, big up, and, big and, old island guy. Right. Well, and, well. well. and the long-awaited book will be about the Mars and the McHughes and all that. <laughs> So we yes, have another request, another comment. JJ and his mom would like to say something, please. Good night. It's great to be a part of this. Um, my son is super excited to be here. He counted the time down to get in the room just to be in the space. <laughs> so, yeah, he has a lot to say. Go on. So, uh, I'm on page 250, and I remember the part when it was on the train, I believe. I believe it was like a train or a bus. I can't remember. Uh, and there was like this sickness that was going around, and the doctors had to come in to see if no one got sick. And that's all I remember. <laughs> well done, well done. <laughs> well, you got to well, read, read again. Lot. You've read a lot to get that far, so for you to remember he that, got it. Be good. Dude, it was Saturday afternoon. That, that was probably one of the. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Say that again, Emily. So oh, he just got it a bit, barely three, two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> That's he loves to read. Yes. And good jeans. Quality jeans. <laughs> yes. That's called yes. a paint turner if I ever heard one. But I want to. I want to thank. AJ and his and mom Stephanie and the excitement he's shown it really has been thrilling for us all and daddy was so excited to meet him and everything so we really appreciate the support and knowing that this is not a book just for you know the generations that were a part of it but now the younger generation can now learn what has happened so that's wonderful we, we appreciate that so greatly uh we have another question you want to say something else Oh, he's muted. Okay. Um, Carol Noble. Carol, please. Hi, Emily. Hi. Hello, this welcome. is welcome. This is Carol Noble from Canada. This is um your dad's um uh, best friend's daughter. You're getting closer. You're getting closer. The other day, Richard oh, Cole. Come closer. Come okay, closer. daddy's come alive. Daddy's come to life. Yes. There you go, Richard right Cole's here. daughter. Order. Yeah, so the other day, Come he right was here. talking about your dad. Oh, there you go. And apparently, yeah. they have been friends for over 75 years. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So my dad, this year, and more befitting, on August 6th, he will be 94 years old. Oh, and I, yes, and I just want to say he does everything. He still drives. Mm. Whenever we go to the mall, you cannot keep up with that man. 
our our mom passed away he still does his laundry he still cooks he does everything mm. and we yeah. are so impressed with him we see him often my sister lives in toronto but i live further up in the subs so he visits my sister every day and i, I can I, I, I understand when you said that um, he was having his supper. He does everything on a timeline. His supper is at a certain time. Dinner is at a certain time. <laughs> lunch is at a certain time. So I just want to say, I just want to congratulate him on this book. And I only hope that I can get a copy for my dad because that would mean so much to him. I went Absolutely. online and I heard that it's sold out, but I am going to keep trying. I'm going to keep don't, trying. Don't worry, don't worry about it being sold out. The, the order will be on hold for you. Don't worry about okay. that. I have some. Right. We, we, Thank you. Yeah. We received um, the Christmas card that your father sends to my father. And we have been meaning to get daddy to talk. We to did him. call, but we didn't get him. But we, yeah, we haven't gotten a. Yeah, we, we, we tried calling Carol, yes. but we able to get through but we definitely want to talk to him and Richard Cole is a great friend daddy talks of him often all yes. the way back to the printry in Jamaica, <laughs> oh, yes. Jamaica. And so he this is really special that you're here and <laughs> really Sorry, what in the world? I, I should say <laughs> Emily an opportunity and <laughs> Emily the only okay, yes. reason the only I'm reason sorry, he's Nancy. not on is because we have his tablet. We are supposed to put some memory on it for him. <laughs> That's yes. the only reason he's not on. So I hope I can get a um a tape copy of this to that he can see it. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. It's live on Facebook now, and we hope to get it onto YouTube. So we'll make sure okay. that all of that, that is coordinated. Awesome. Yes, yes, yes. And thank I'm you so awesome. much. I'm going to mm -hmm. drop my email in the chat, people, just so that if anything, people can reach out to me if we miss each other with something. Please connect um, and so forth, just so that that's to, look, Emily, I just, for Richard, because I, I, I was uh, rich. Uh, I'm a contemporary of Dad's friendship with Richard. And I just want to say my great thanks to Richie. Richard has always remembered my father's birthday. Uh, uh, they will t want, they will make a call once a year. They've done so religiously, and uh, when uh, we were in England, uh, I, I, I have good memories. So for Richard, I, I just want to give my great thanks for his friendship and and just my remembrance of him. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah. that's wonderful. Yes, indeed. Any any other comments or thoughts? I know we're at our time, but we don't want to cut off anyone who wants to share. So you're free to unmute and just share whatever you'd like. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Emily? Yes, my dear sister Velma. Well, this is a great experience for me this evening. I read your dad's book in two days. I kept reading and reading and I just couldn't stop until I got to the last page, finally. But the thing that impressed me most in this book is his ability to find his relatives. It seems that wherever he went, he would look for his family. It's aunt this or uncle that, you know, I can't remember the names, but it just made me to understand the value of family. And when I look at you all, the children, I can see exactly where this has come from. You are a loving family. And this really inspired me when I read that book. I pray that dad would be here for as long as the Lord sees fit and best. And at the same time, I congratulate all the children for standing close to him and supporting him. This is an encouragement. May God bless all of you. 
Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much for that. I, and I have a, I have a story to tell about our father. Maybe can you hear Helena that she needs to come? Yeah, closer. have her come up. Have her come up a little closer. Closer into the to the thing over here. Try squeeze around. We had to reconfigure everything to to make this thing. So hold on. Um, let me just try to get this thing working. It's amazing about. I have a a story when we were younger and going to school. <clears throat> I remember when it um would snow, or it was a heavy rain. He would come and get us at school. You see the car surprisingly waiting for us um, outside the school. He didn't have to walk home. And it was um, a nice surprise when we were children to see our father um, to take us home in the car. That we didn't have to get wet or uh, snowed, <laughs> be slowed down by the snow. Wow, so, I never knew that. Well, oh yeah, it's a mm -hmm. because you're busy working. So we we well, <laughs> or you were at school somewhere else. Or we we he yeah. Working. He would always on a rainy day. You can count on seeing the car parked right across the street because he knew we didn't take any umbrellas anywhere. And plus, Daddy doesn't like to get wet. <laughs> yeah, he didn't like to get wet, so he didn't think that we should get wet either. I think that was it. So we have the Mar family from Canada, Luce and Robert. Thank you for the study, President. We're grateful for the invitation. Well, we're so happy you're here. Luce is a part of our family from Cuba and Canada, and we're spanning all corners of the globe. And it's just a matter of how history, it's just history, you know, flowing around the world um, that brings us from these disparate locations that we are in. Okay, um, any, let me see. Let me just see if any other final thoughts um, Emily, maybe maybe I can just conclude by saying this uh, for everybody, and maybe this is a good good juncture. Well, uh, Michael, one hold on, don't yeah. forget, Andrew needs to have a chance to say something. But go yeah. ahead and make your point, and then we'll let Andrew, as our other brother, say something. Yes, yes. Unless Andrew wants to say something now. Yeah, I'll I'll say something now. So um, this is Andrew, the second <laughs> son. Um, it's, I'm very appreciative of, of Emily and Helena and Michael putting this together. Um, it's definitely a, a labor of love and just to, to give our history, family history, and to share that with everybody. It's really a wonderful thing. But also to a lot of the, the relatives out there that I haven't seen or spoken to in a long time, it's great to see you. You're all looking well and very much appreciate you all coming together as a, as a family Mar McHugh, et cetera, to give honor to our father, John McHugh. And it's been a, a really a good blessing to all of us to be to this point, to see this book come to life. I mean, we've been, we've been living it for a long time and he's been putting a lot of effort into it. His, his notes have been meticulous. Yes. And, and Michael's done a great job of verifying everything just to say, yes, he was correct all the time. His, his memory and, and events were accurate. Um, but I, again, I, from me to all of you and for the family, we very much appreciate everybody's participation in this um, book um, opening. Thanks. Okay, Michael, up to you. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you, Andrew. Okay. Thank you. And yeah, and by the way, what are, oh, there's some more people joining the Zoom. Um, let me just say that what we can do if we just want to chat, we can stop recording and then people can just talk. We can do that too, but we'll just finish up with the formalities and then whoever wants to hang out, we can, you know, until you want to leave. Okay, go ahead, Michael. Yes, uh, this, what I'm about to say has is, is in, in a sense, uh, <clears throat> a commemoration of a very dear friend of mine who is not on this call, uh, the reason being because he's deceased. Uh, but his name is John Fisher, <clears throat> and th the reason why I mention his name is that when I was discussing my family history and uh, the genealogy and so forth, uh, I said to him, I said, well, you know, I'd be willing to do some research for you to see uh, what your family history is about. And he said to me, he says, no, that won't be necessary. And I was taken aback. I said, mm, that's kind of a strange response. But uh, he said, that won't be necessary because I already feel a part of being, I already feel that I'm a part of yours. 
And that was one of the greatest, sweetest things that anyone could say uh, from a, 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 a stranger in terms of relatively speaking. So that applies to everybody on this call. And the fact that we are we are all human beings and we forget, we have to remember that. That is what we are. We were created in God's image in whatever form we are is what he is and what we are, which means that we have great potential within us as a result of that. And as my brother has expressed, seeing people we haven't seen in a, in a long time, uh, but have remembered us to be on this call and people who we don't know have felt the, uh, the desire to be a part of this call makes you part of our family. And I greatly appreciate it. And may God bless all of you. Thank you, Emily. Amen. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Thank Where's you. Where's Fluffy? Yeah, where's your dog, Matthew? Bring him on, Michael. Yes. Oh, what? You want to see what? Bring, bring Fluffy on. Fluffy? Oh, what? Pastor Don. Yeah, bring him on yeah. while Pastor oh, Don and Liz yes. speak. Oh. Let me let My wife loves Fluffy. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, Get him we're out, Michael. See Fluffy. Okay, and let me so, let me change let me change the picture where I am. Emily, you got to get me on screen. There. We will, but I just want to allow them to to share what they want to share. Yeah, yes. I got to get I got to get I got to see where he hold is. Hold on, Michael. Hold on. Hold on. Go ahead. Don. Thank you. Uh, okay, let me, let me let me let me let me just. Uh... <laughs> Go ahead, Don. Okay. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Emily, for this uh, awesome invitation. Really, really appreciate it. Lois, my wife, my wife and myself, we're just delighted to be here with you, join in on this momentous uh, occasion uh, of this celebration of the completion of this, this book. I have not had a chance to read it or even get a copy yet, but we certainly will. And um, this is something to celebrate about. Uh, so many years, 80 years, wow. I mean, that that is just really, really tremendous and mm -hmm. awesome. So um, to all of you, the, the children and all of the family and family members that are on here, we just want to say greetings to you from Don and Lois King. We've known the the uh, McHugh family mm -hmm. for a number of years, and uh, we've just appreciated them so much mm -hmm. and delighted to be invited to be part of this uh, celebratory moment here this evening. Thank you very much, and God bless Thank you. you. Thank you, Pastor King. Thank, Thank you Thank so you very much. much. Thank you. And guys, I had to say something. Lois probably be mad at me saying, when we were little, I was constantly combing her hair. I wouldn't let her hear alone. <laughs> So, are, are you ready to comb it again? You didn't have to. <laughs> no, I'll give you some peace. I think I've done enough with that head. But no, she was always very tolerant of my, you know, this is when me, what, seven years or whatever, you yeah. know, like that. Those days. It's yes. so good to see Andrew. Yes. Big, big Andrew now. <laughs> yes. yes. This is amazing. No, we appreciate it so very much. Pleasure. Michael, come back with the fluffy man. Well, he's he's uh, oh, he decided to leave. Oh. Yeah, he he he's he's he's, he's 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 telling me the time now. It's 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 it's, it's walk time. Oh, good grief. Okay, so <laughs> he, I will have no peace. I will have no peace until that is accomplished. Yeah, he, he tells time. Dogs can do that. He tells time. So when it's about this time, it's just, it's it's. He, you know, he sits there oh, and he's oh, looking oh. at me, and I can't, I can't deny him. So, what can I do? Anyway. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. We still have people joining ours. So I don't know what to say, but um, um, yeah. I mean, I just, I don't know. Again, not to put anyone on the spot. You're free to say or not say anything you don't want to say. But I'm just curious, as there's some people on here that I do not know. I'm curious how you heard about this tonight and. Maybe what inspired you to come, um, but you don't have to say unless you want to, or put it in the chat, whatever you feel like you want to do. But just curious as to who's here because it's so exciting to have you all. Um, some of the names I I don't really know. Well, we have the record of everybody, Emily. So this is good. This is fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, with um, that, um.
Oh, let me hold this up. Hold on. Let me see if you can see this. This isn't on the slideshow, but anybody recognize any people in here? I know my I can't people. see anything, Emily. You can't see anything? Hold on. Let me difficult, let me let me make my thing bigger. Thing. Oh, I'm sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me fix this. Let me change that all together. Let me change it. Let me change it. Okay. I'm trying to make it so. Oh, Lord, can you put light. it on a bigger screen? Oh, do no, we have to I can't right now. We can change the view. We can change the that's view. The put again. You can get right tonight. Oh, that's uh, that's Maurice. That's good. Maurice, Joy, our mom at the end, daddy's yeah. nephews, and um, right. great nephew and niece, right. niece Joy. And Emily and Helena down and there. Is that, is that Jason there? That's Jason, right? Jason, yeah. And his mm, okay. okay, and then oh. this one. That's daddy okay. at 16 years old. Wow. Five, yeah, six, uh, yeah, yeah, 16. Okay. Seven years before he crossed the ocean to the United States. Emily, let's mm. leave it. Let's end with that. Let's and then, oh, that. no, I'm going on. I have a couple more, just about oh, okay. two more. All this right. is Daddy in his soccer days. This is him right here. 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 This? Here. 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 And that is the picture I've been looking for. What? Well, why didn't you ask me? I, I didn't you. know you had this. This represents yeah. during during World War II, the the British uh, forces trained in Jamaica to get acclimatized to the tropical weather. And the uh, the Canadian uh, Canadian uh, troops were trained as well, and that soccer picture is commemorative of of the 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 the, 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 the games they played against those soldiers for recreation during that time. And then the last one I have, I guess, this one, this one, well, well, two. This one is in the book. This picture is in the book, and this is my daddy's uncle. And Aunt Muriel in um, New York, who he stayed with during the war. And my mom in the middle, baby Emily and Helena. So this is daddy, our mother, and Jocelyn. His uncle baby, Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. His yeah. uncle on his mother's side, and that's Emily. And his that's wife. his wife. Yeah. Okay, that's in the book. That picture's a book. And the final picture I'll leave you with is this one. Actually, I know once you start pictures, you don't want to stop. But this, 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 actually, it's, it's going to be still two. This one is with Uncle Jocelyn again. That was when we first came to America from England. And then finally, this is the most comprehensive final family photo that we have, which has um, our mother in the middle who, does, who passed away in uh, 2018. Our sister-in-law, Susan and Sheila and Matthew and Tiffany, our niece and nephew, and Michael, Andrew, Daddy, and Emily and Helena. So that's it. That's the family. And same spot. Yeah, we're okay. sitting in the same spot. So that's it, guys. I don't know any and I as I said, I can end the um hold on a moment. Let me just end the um Daddy do the, you want to say anything? Daddy, Daddy, Daddy. Because before we end, Daddy you want to say anything to thank the people for coming. Or anything like that. Let me let me make this bigger to, so so you can see him. Hold on a second. Let me just try. Okay, Daddy, here's your chance. You have an audience to talk to now. An audience to talk to. Yes. <laughs> Go ahead, Daddy. Say good evening. Hello, dear friends. <laughs> Hello. Thanks to remember me. I am oh. on my way out, but I feel proud to be out this afternoon to speak to my few friends that have remembered me so very well. What must oh. I say to you? I don't know what to say. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my God, Uncle John, this is Kimmy. It, it is so great. great to hear your voice. 
Kim. Daddy Kim. Maurice's daughter, Kim. Remember mm -hmm. Kim? Kimmy, Maurice's daughter, your nephew Maurice, his daughter, Kim. Kim. Kim, Kim, Kim with a K. Yes. Kim. Yes, <laughs> Uncle John. Hi. All my children are on the line, each and every one of them. Um, you have great grand nephew, grand um, great grand nieces on the phone, and you have the newborn, my newest, my grandson, great great grand nephew, Christopher's son. Yes, we're all so amazed by you. So amazed. Oh, good to hear you, Uncle. Hi, hi, Helen, Helena, and Emily. I'm sorry, I'm just getting on to speak. Hi, everybody. Um. It's just wonderful to hear your voice. Hmm. It's it's great to hear from you, Kim. Hi, hey. Michael and Richard. Hello. Hey. Hello. What a, what a Kim. This is Kim is Kim. Daddy's oldest brother, Herbert's granddaughter. So my Daddy is the youngest of the five or six, and Herbert was the oldest, and Daddy was the youngest. So Kim hey. is his grand, his brother's granddaughter. Yes, what a blessing, Kim, and your whole beautiful family. Yeah. Thank you. Isn't Thank it you. Amazing? God bless. John, that today we can have a conversation to say hello. Yes. <laughs> Much love to everyone. Yes, amen. Thank you, Kim. And I see Jason said, loved it. Thank you, Jason. We'd love to hear your voice, Jason. Don't be shy. Bring it on, bring it on. <laughs> or whoever else wants to speak. But no, it's it's a wonderful time. And it's I think it's, it's worth saying that it's important that, I mean, obviously we're using the book launch as an opportunity, as an occasion, but I think it's important for families to, to find any occasion, not just, you know, the sad ones or the ones where they feel an obligatory need to connect to have the, the opportunity to commune. So we appreciate that we have a happy occasion to celebrate this with everyone tonight. Mm. And um, Arthur, okay. thank you for, yes, of course, most definitely. Yes. Okay, so what I will do, I can stop the Facebook Live and the recording, and then we can just let it go from there. Um, I wanted to, well, I can play that as we end, but. I wanted to play a, a, a few seconds of this song because since it's going on YouTube, YouTube doesn't take likely to uh, playing music that's not licensed for you to play. But nonetheless, we'll play a little bit of it. Let me see if you can hear it. Oh, where's the song? Is it playing? There's like no song. No song. <laughs> well, there's that. Well, the sentiment was there. One love, one love it is. Okay, let me come back over here. That's fine. You all know the song. You can go listen to it on your own time. Okay. <laughs> oh. All right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna thank my my Facebook audience. I'm gonna end the Facebook one. Really appreciate everyone on Facebook. Thank you so much. So I will stop. Well, hold on. Stop mm -hmm. Facebook first. Uh, stop it. Bye, Facebook. Thank you. Okay. Okay, but I have the other recording and um, I have the other recording going, but the Facebook is stopped, ended. I don't know why that's not working, but whatever. I'm not going to fuss with that tonight. But I really, again, the, oh, let me share this though. Let me share. Don't, don't jump off just yet. Um, uh mm, my my screens are I want to share this page. This is the page where I'd love for you to sign up. I'm going to drop that link again over here. And I'm going to show you this page. This is where if you'd like us to notify you about um uh just a second. Share, share, share. Okay. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. What am I doing? This one. Okay. This page, I just dropped the link. If you'd like to be on our email or anything to be notified of an email, just click on this link and you'll get to this. I will send you notification of 
the ebook, as we said, this um, keepsake bookmark download that you can print out and um, and the link to the playlist from Daddy's book, some of the songs and so forth. So if you'd like to be on that, we can share that with you. That's an easy way for us to have your emails if I missed any in the chat, but it will be saved, so I should get it as well. Um, oh, Sister Williams, hi, she's here. It's so great. Oh my gosh, this is so wonderful to see everybody. This is amazing. All right, so that's that's what that is right there. Let me just peek on Facebook what's going on over there. Well, I'll go over there later. That's probably frozen. But okay, well, all right. Let me get back to view. Um, Emily and Michael, may I may I just say something before you conclude or I go? Yes. Yes. Um, this is Pauline speaking. Emily, nice. I must say this is so burning. I must share it. You know that I love to share um things on LinkedIn. Yes. Someone reached out to me and asked me, where do I know you from? So I started to tell I started to tell him the history about you know the book and everything. So he said, okay, he's gonna give me a call. Apparently, it was one of my Airbnb customers. He lives in Atlanta, but I take care of his place here in um Merritt Island. And just this book and you guys teaches me value and appreciation because this Airbnb customer, he always has some things. I'm like, where did he get this from? Where did he get this from? Sometimes I'm so crazy about cleaning this place until when I spoke to him, he said, you know what, Pauline, I can tell you some story about World War II. You know, my daddy was in it. So he FaceTimed me that day. There was something in there. He said, turn around, look at that. I'm going to send you the picture, Emily. And you know what he has in his house? It's an office that they use in World War II. But it looked like a safe. But it opened up into an office with the desk. Just a little office. It was so... I mean, it was so breathtaking for me and it just teaches me to respect, appreciate and value people and their things because I do not know the history. Now, knowing you um, and meeting your dad and reading the book, I need to get the second edition. It has put me into a place of learning values and appreciation wasn't easy to say but i have to <laughs> thank, you, thank, wow, you for thank you for that so much yes I really appreciate that wow yeah oh emily i somebody had raised their hand had a question about did he fight in palestine I saw yes that I, I right yeah. and <laughs> yes no he was not in the military so daddy was worked on the farm mm -hmm. in world war ii yeah. And um, and not only in the farms, I, Michael, I, you probably mentioned this, but it's probably worth just reiterating that there's so much during the war effort, so many layers of activities. So not only did he work, um, do the onion fields, which he was contracted to do, but he had the opportunity because I, I forget how long it was. Was it a year or six months? I don't remember the time he was on the farm. But after the contract ended, and by the way, we have the written contract here that he signed back in 1943. And he wanted to stay in America, but sometimes people would just skip their contracts and stay illegally, but he wanted to do things legally. So he told the contracting officer, I will not be going back to- uh, well, Let me, let me, let me- Mike, uh, Okay. Take yeah. it away, Mike. Okay. <laughs> All right. The um, this, not not to give away the secrets of the book, but uh, but this is no no. But I'm just saying this is this is the the reason why I'll reveal it is because it's, it's it doesn't take away from your reading of the book the, the book for yourself. The reason that Dad's 
coming to America is a real testament, as I say, to the human will. And it's not not even it's not better exemplified by when he went to New York City, where everybody wanted to go, and the the uh, the War Food Commission and the War Manpower Commission they were in control they were responsible for the war workers at that time, but the War Food Administration was for specific types of industry, uh, food related, and the uh, onion fields of Elba that was under the food administration. When dad went to work for the gypsum mine company, that became under the uh, the War Manpower Commission, which was not food administration, okay? So when he got to New York, which the, the story will tell you that part, but when he got to New York, everybody wanted to go, and he thought, well, if I can just get a job in New York City, then the authorities will let me stay. So he got an employ he got employment with a dairy company which now the dairy company being food is under the war food administration. But now he was under the war manpower administration because he had worked in the gypsum mine. So when he went to get that job, technically speaking, he couldn't do it because he was under the wrong administration. So he gets a letter from the U.S. government telling him as much and saying, well, you can't do that. Uh, but come to the office and we'll uh, we can we'll discuss uh, what you need to do. So he goes to the office on the West Twenty uh, Third East Twenty uh, Third Street and um, West Twenty Third Street in New York City. Goes there, and the gentleman whose name is Mr. Campbell tells him, "Well, I'm sorry, we, you know, we can't take you. You have to go back to Jamaica. You can't you can't do that. You you you're under the different commission. You can't get any work here." And so my father uh, is on the spot. This is it. And he was this, he was inspired. He got up, looked Mr. Campbell in the eye, crushed his fist down on the table and said, Mr. Campbell, I'm not going back to Elba and I'm not going back to Oakfield. It's too cold for me. I'm going to stay here. And you know why, Mr. Campbell? Why I want to stay here? because I want Uncle Sam to win the war. I want to help Uncle Sam win the war. <laughs> Mr. Campbell turned around and said, Mr. McHugh, just wait here for a moment. He never saw Mr. Campbell again. Mrs. Mr. Campbell's secretary came out and said, Mr. McHugh, uh, report to the National Sugar Refining Company in Long Island and they will have a position for you. You'll be one of the first of a, of a batch of Jamaicans who'll be working there, and the rest is history. But had he not taken that stand, this story would not be here, would not be asked to tell. But that one moment in time, those brave words, I want to help Uncle Sam win the war, was so compelling that uh, all the yeah. all the all the commissions and manpower commissions couldn't withstand that brave stand for dad to say i'm with you to fight this war and that's how he got amen. to tell the story and amen to that and we have a question in the chat from from andrew hall he says did he know anyone who went to camp murphy daddy did you know anyone who went to camp murphy yes yes he yes. Did. Who? yes yes he did where was camp murphy by the camp way? murphy's in florida florida okay there we go yeah. Yeah, Camp, 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 Camp Murphy was a, a staging ground, if you will, for uh, the migrant workers. And so those who were returning to Jamaica, that was the way station where they would go before being deployed uh, back to Jamaica or de deployed elsewhere in the United States, depending upon the need. But Camp right. Murphy was was uh, in Florida and it was known for its delay. So nobody wanted to go there. So, and there's another comment that's made. It says many of those in the South had a rough time. Yes, that's true. Absolutely did. And Daddy fortunately was able to go up north, not only north, but to New yeah. York where family was. But that was just yeah. By the, chance, that by that is right, right. Dad saying, raises that point, and and the uh, the segregation and prejudice that existed at that time was. Uh, a major conflict with Jamaicans coming to this country at that time. They weren't going to tolerate that. So for those who were detailed in the South, principally Florida, uh, the sugarcane fields in Florida at that time, 
uh, they they had to uh, uh, put up with that in the sense that the government had to step in to make it so that they were treated in a in a fair fashion because you know you bring these people from another country and you're going to treat them like that so it it it, it the, the the government had to be faced with with how they would would manage that situation as a result of that they they too had to change their attitudes and uh and their outlook in dealing with yes but definitely it would have been a different experience had he gone into the south no question about it yeah especially yes thank you for those questions Anne. yes um, it's a good question story in the book remember michael um that it was told of some jamaicans going into a bar either in florida or someplace like that and they were told that you know they don't serve them <laughs> uh dad okay there was yes he had his experience yeah uh the book does reference a, a very important event that took place in england with american troops which people will see for themselves how that translated to, to civil rights uh, in this country uh, but Jamaicans, yes, definitely. Uh, of, uh, and we're not talking just Jamaicans. There was West Indies in general. But Jamaicans in particular, because they were overwhelmingly the largest group from the West Indies and also the most um, uh, outspoken, I would say. Uh, and because of numbers, they, they could be more outspoken. So there was an incident where Dad, was his the, the farmer that he worked for, took him to a, a local bar and refused to serve him and the other Jamaican workers and the 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 uh, his farm uh, his farmer said why not you know they're with me and he said well some Jamaicans were in here the other day and they smashed up my place and he said well they're not the Jamaicans that are with me and he said and so that was so that was that 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 gives you a, an extent to the to which the Jamaicans weren't going to tolerate what they may have perceived as a slight uh, my dad didn't have to participate in that, but he was a witness to the to the ramifications of that attitude and 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 what it was like at that time. So when the Jamaicans went came to this country, it was it was a revolution in that respect. In that respect, because people did not, you know, they're treating they're, they're seeing they're seeing people uh, who treated them as an equal, and yet were not treated equally within their own country. And now they had to treat these people as equals, and it it, it had a big it had a good impact psychologically on on people to realize, okay, wait a minute, the color doesn't mean anything, you know, it's 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 beyond that. So anyway, in in, in brief, yes. that, that so the book the book touches on that. That's why the the, the book has a broad. Uh, it's it's not just a story of going uh, on a train, though the train ride itself is important, but there's there's a lot to it. Yes, there is. It's multi multi layered, multi layered. Yeah. Okay, uh, um, but mostly also, oh, um, you know, people who um are not familiar with the island of Jamaica or Jamaicans in general, they were not used to the segregation this country had. Jamaicans were the majority compared to in this country where they were the minority. And also the hate that was here, they didn't experience it in Jamaica like that. Mm -hmm. So when they yeah. came here, it was a big surprise. Mm -hmm. And and the nature of a Jamaican, they will they won't tolerate. Some of them won't tolerate or take that kind of behavior, um, behavior to their their selves. I mean, disrespect themselves in that manner. So, and, yeah, and also to show you that universal human beings, how we are, how we can be, how we can behave badly. Uh, the story talks of of Jamaicans who came to this country were prejudiced against the Americans, and yet they're the same color. So, color is immaterial. It was just a matter of, well, they're different, so we're superior. And there were Jamaicans who had that attitude. And uh, talks about that and how he had to uh, address that within his own group so that uh, they would they would behave uh, appropriately and, and, and recognize that we we're all in it together. Because people came here thinking, okay, we're from Jamaica, we're superior, you know, we... 
same kind of nonsense that they had that people in, uh, will, will will have so it doesn't matter where you're from but it's but if you want to to set it straight and I think what one of Dad's play playlist songs is uh, "Be Get Straight, Fly Right." Fly right okay. and straighten up and fly straighten right. up. Well, we can we can all do that and be better for it. <laughs> okay, yes. Emily, I oh, think oh, we should. Yes, let, I know we've been oh, here about to be on the time, but just yeah, finally, that, any, yeah. any last minute thoughts, and then before we end, just to make sure everyone has a full opportunity, you want to make sure of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before. I think Before you got... I hit the sack, I just wanted to say how I enjoyed this <clears throat> this virtual presentation. It Thank was you. superb, it was superb. It was of a high quality. And, and I hope that this you'll maintain this when we get in the third book from Andrew. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Gray. You're Thank you. Hey, that book better be forthcoming. <laughs> well, I told you, it won't take 80 years. <laughs> <laughs> but if that's what it takes to live as long as that, then maybe I have to to, to push it out a bit. But uh, I promise you, be. I promise you, I'll, I'll hopefully I'll live long and also get it done quicker. Oh, uh, you, you start the ball rolling already. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And you know, to encourage people, it's so important to tell your story, write your story. Everyone on here has your own unique story to tell. And you might be wondering, oh, what, why, what, how will this impact someone? Or why would someone want to read my story? It's because you've had a life experience that they have not had. And by your sharing it, they now can partake from the that extra insight that you have. So Everyone has their unique perspective that we tend to underestimate because it's ours. But mm -hmm. when someone else sees it, it now takes on another light. So definitely tell your story. <laughs> tell your story. And you don't have to publish it or, or say what well, is going to be published. You know, that, that may come. But the fact that it's whatever you have is memorialized, it, 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 it'll have its own life. It'll have its own life. Yeah. Yeah, Absolutely. Well, we want to just thank you all again for your kind presence and your attention and your participation, your support of this initiative here tonight and being a part of this historic event. Daddy, any parting words from you before I let you have your final you, say? You are... huh? No, go ahead. Oh, my... If Daddy... that is up, that, I think he's... Oh, no, wait, hold on. I have to just let him go. We're closing now, and we just wonder if you have any closing words you want to say before we go. You had this opportunity. Amen. He's glad we uh, had the opportunity. That says, all. that says all he says. Amen to that. Uh, Amen okay. To that. Amen. So with that, um, what else can we truly say? <laughs> good night. Good night. Good night. A good Amen. night. I want to thank uh, our news people who were here. Please um, let me know if we're going to see this. <laughs> <laughs> where, where should we look? But we really appreciate your being here and, and covering this event tonight. Yes, that's a great appreciated event. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, Lord, someone else just, uh, just joined. Well, I'll hang out until people go. I'm not going to just shut it off. Anyone can, you know, because you're, you're, you're free. You're free to leave if, you know, I don't want to keep you all night. But someone just joined. <laughs> <laughs> I, I may have to walk that dog so if i cut if i okay, leave okay well I'll... if you have to go michael then i'll just you know hang out a little bit and... I'll have to try, yeah i'll be with you for a little bit but just in and case I'll... you know where i had to go all right yes where where is he? is he nearby again he needs to make one more appearance well when they say let's sleep in dogs lie there's a good reason for that okay okay never mind let's just be grateful for the <laughs> moment we had any other thoughts from you andrew no, I think you've um, done a wonderful job arranging this between you and Michael. Um, oh, I just came. I'm honored to participate. Thank you. Um, I don't know if that's our cousin Joy or which Joy is that? Is that one of our cousins? Let me just see. It's, it's still connecting. It says Joy. I don't know if is it Joy in Jamaica because Daddy has no. one niece left and no. it is a Joy. I don't know if it's that Joy. But if it is, I definitely want to give her a chance to talk to her uncle. 
You have to find it. Joy, is it you? <laughs> unmute yourself. She's on mute. She's on mute. Asked to unmute. Asked to unmute. Oh. Um, I just said asked to unmute. So I don't know. But there may be a delay why it's not and coming. Other joy. I don't know. I just I just want to make sure. Because I know she, if it is her, then she may have had trouble coming on. So somebody that um, message someone in the waiting room. Lord, there are too many buttons to push. Um, no. Well, no, you may no. want to leave a message for Joy. She may have trouble with the mute. So you may want to say something to her. Whichever Joy it is. Well, I was trying to unmute her, but it's not letting me. Do no, this. you can't. You can't unmute her. I just was trying to see. Anyway, um, hmm. Well, you have two joys I you can say it. thank you I, to. I don't see another joy. I just see one. We don't know which one it is, so say it to both of them. It could be either one of them. Okay. I don't know. I, I can't. Well, whichever joy it is, whether it's joy, our cousin in Jamaica, or joy, Ruddy's joy, our, our cousin, um, Ruddy, daddy's nephew's wife. Um, either or both, <laughs> we're thrilled to have you. So, um, oh, I just want to give her a moment. I don't want to just shut off. I'm just asking if she can unmute. It's only his bedtime. Yeah, daddy will probably go to bed after this. He normally goes to bed between, what time you go to bed, daddy? Mm -hmm. You. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. 9, 9.30 sometimes. Oh, Lord, Carl, someone else is coming in. Come on, man, the after party. This is the after party. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to just welcome whoever is coming on. We're thrilled that you're Carlton here. Carlton is the name. Carlton. 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 Is it the Carlton that I know? <laughs> Which one? Oh, I, I don't want to assume anything because, you know, I don't know who's who right now, so. But just happy to have everybody. I don't. Is... I don't know if our cousin from Australia got on. I have I to check with him because the. I didn't the, see him. Yeah. It was a thirty-three at its highest? I think. So Joy's audio is unmuted. So. Oh. Hear. Okay. So Joy, which Joy can speak? I think there's a delay in the audio. Let me see the message. Ruddy's wife. Ah, Ruddy's oh, joy. No. Okay. Oh, you want to okay. say something? Can't, are you able to? I mean, if you can. It's but... all right. We got we got her message. We appreciate your being on. Yeah, thank you, Joy. Excited. Thank you for thank you for getting on, Joy. Yes. Good. One of my dad's nieces. Okay. So now I this this chat will save it will save the email addresses, but again I I really do encourage you. It makes it a lot easier if you just uh, those who are left. I know people are starting to sign off, but um, mm -hmm. uh, if you wouldn't mind, just clicking on this link here and entering your email, and I'll be able to properly communicate and then follow up from this chat tonight yeah well i guess parting is such sweet sweet sorrow <laughs> we, we we hate to say goodbye to anybody because we're really i'm mean, especially people who haven't seen in so long um just know that anytime anyone wants to talk to daddy you're more than <laughs> welcome just reach out and, he has a um, youtube channel he does i come on guys hold on don't go anywhere yet i how could i forget i did forget so we just launched Daddy's YouTube channel. It has a whopping three subscribers, and hopefully after night tonight that will increase to at least a hundred percent. Oh no, he has four! Wow, it went up significantly. <laughs> so here is the, here is the the link. We're going to be saving a lot of his things in there. His oh oh, hold on. Uh, I can show you. Yeah. We'll, sh we'll share, this is his YouTube channel. We'll be putting up some videos. The visit with the commissioners is there. Michael reading his book to him. Um, we put that up. So um, 
we, I'll have some more of the videos of Michael reading the entire book to daddy because daddy can't really read his eyesight now. So Michael read the entire book to him. So it's almost like an audio book thing. And that I have part one and two up and I have two more to put up and more things I'll put up there. So you can engage with those those videos. Please like and subscribe. I had meant to mention that like from the beginning tonight, but totally forgot. But um, please do engage with that. I did drop the link. Okay, Joy's having technical difficulties. Okay, yes. Please email me the YouTube link. Yes, I will. I will definitely. That's why I love you guys. Make sure I have your emails and uh, I can compile these things and put them in one place for you. But yes, that is very exciting that uh, he has that going on. Got that started for him. Oh, I'll get that over here. Right. So that's, I think that's pretty much recovered our bases. Oh, Joy, look, before we go, this picture was shown and you're right in it. There you are. Okay. And the other joy in the middle. That's right. Two it. joys are both in that picture. Yeah. Yeah. Both our joys are there. Okay. Yeah. Great. So, Lord, how do we end? Well, okay. You can do it on the count of three. Oh, one of those? No, that's so cold. That's a cold <laughs> departure. Um, I have to find a way for why won't the song play? Do you have Do you have your music to play at the end? The, the, the anything of the playlist to play? Oh well, well I, I kind of okay. Hold on, let me let me just try to get it back. Because with all the the clicking around, it kind of went. Oh, where's the where's the straighten up and fly right here? Yeah, that's one of Daddy's like that likes that song. Yeah, let's play that one. That'll be good. And let me know if you can hear this. Why is there no sound over here? There, there's a reason why there's no song, but I don't know why that reason is. Do you have so, to come out of the, the screen to do it? Okay, let me try to think. Why is there no... Oh, I know why! I Did I mute the thing from the here? Mute. Why did I mute it? I had clicked something up on top here. You guys, thanks for bearing with me with my whatever happened. Because you obviously heard the music before, then it decided to not play. What have I done to mute the music? I have no idea. It has the, 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 um, the what? The, uh, the... No, but I, 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 God. Well, here's some applause. I don't know what I did. I could play this. I could play this yeah, song. Yeah, Emily, Emily, can you maybe play you that. have to shut off the visual? Is that it? There's some muting there. Did you hear that song? No. What mute do I need to shut off? Share your sound. It was share. Go into the share and share sound. But everything was en enabled before and then going what? To war? Going to go down at the bottom. We bring it back up. Bring it back up. Okay, I'm just basically from the YouTube thing. Good night, Joy. Joy saying good night. Yes, good night, Joy. Joy. Thank you so much. We're thank more, you. More what down here? Mm -hmm. What about it? Nothing. Okay. No. No. Um. I'm kind of like one of those people. Like I want to make sure to figure out how it is. So if people are like. Okay, I don't know. I'm sure it's something simple, easy, and when I'm done, I'm going to be really annoyed at myself. But right now, I don't know what in the world. I do. Not even my eCam wants to come. eCam live preferences. Sound is well, when you When we heard the music in, in the beginning, it had the, the, the video of that music. It wasn't like with us here. Is it as oh. if is it a different screen setting you have to have for that? Emily, <laughs> system output next minute. We're at the bottom on the right screen. Okay, I don't know. I don't want to hold up people for that, but I don't. I don't know what's going on with it. I really don't. No, no, it will do something else. But I can try. I'll, I will click it. You never know. It won't click. Forget it. 
Oh, is it the not the echo cancel? Okay. No, it's something about YouTube. It's something with the YouTube that's making it not come on. And I okay, boy. All right, come on. Come here. Okay, well, that's a little anticlimactic. That's too, that's too bad. It was it was nice to. We talk. started off with the sound. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I I was wondering if I muted on it. I don't know why it's. I don't see anything muted. Anyway, I don't know. I don't know what happened. You get the playlist on the email. I will send it to you. Okay, so you can get to hear it. But I was going to play Straighten Up and Fly Right by the Andrew Sisters, which Daddy loves. Was it Andrew Sisters or the ball? Ella Fitzgerald? Um, Ella Fitzgerald. I do not like to not figure it out. Just share your sound. Play song on your computer, share advanced, share sound. Okay, you know what? Try that. Yeah, try that suggestion. Let me, let me, let me follow instructions. Let me try that. I'll try it because I have another computer. Let me, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if it will it will like that. The share thing didn't cook. Um, uh, yeah. Let's see. Does it work now? We can see the screen. That's good. I did, but it's something with it's some. It doesn't pick it. It didn't pick it. it? Didn't. But it said stop share. No, it's something I did on YouTube itself because YouTube is what's not playing any sound. So it's the Andrews sisters. Okay. Yeah. Ecom live virtual mic. That's what I have on the board. Well, you got to reward the, the heart that the people who have stuck with the with with the with the uh, the call. With something, <laughs> got to reward them for their diligence. You guys are so patient and long suffering. Oh my gosh, what have I done with it now? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. See, I know that. You should hear me now. Yes. Yes. What? Can you all hear me now? Yes. Yes. Michael, yes. Michael, can you hear me? You can hear you. Yeah. I hear you. Maybe she no can't can hear us. Me. She can't hear us. What have I done to this thing tonight? Okay, I don't know what I've done. And now, see, now, now it's not even working. Okay, boy. I think you know what happened hmm. when I went and click on this thing. What have I don't know what I've done tonight with this thing tonight. Hello? Any sound coming from me? Yes. Any sound? Okay. No, no sound, just you. You can hear me? Oh, okay. You can hear me. So why is it what why? Okay. Well, you know what? Let me not hold up because I can't. I don't know. I don't know what I did. When we get off of here, it'll be obvious, and I'll feel really silly that it was so easy. But right now, I don't know. I have no idea. My YouTube is what the problem is. It's not anything else. It's YouTube. Some nonsense I did over there and messed it up. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Okay. Can Can you enter it on a separate computer? Okay. Well. <laughs> That's annoying, but I will find out the solution because I will fool around with it until I get it afterwards, but I won't impose this on all of you tonight since that would be very crazy. You know how this can mute and it has a mute button here, but I did. It's, I don't see the mute button there. Forget it. Okay. All oh, right. Fluffy. Okay. Hi, Fluffy. We'll Fluffy's end with Fluffy. Good night. He, he woke up. He's saying oh, it's I enough is enough. Take me for my being walk. out. <laughs> Where is he blue? All right, know. Emily, Michael, everybody oh, else. Okay, everybody. Oh Andrew, I can't hear you. Well, have a good night. Good All night, right. everybody. Well, but you can't, you can't, you hear this good song? Night. Good night. You hear that? Yes, turn it up. 
Yes? No. Yes. That'll be our song. Sing it, my daddy. So, Bye, so, everybody. Thank you all so much. Okay. Good night. All right. Good night, yeah. everyone. She missed up something that Thank you. That we can hear the sound. It's awesome to have That's you here. That's a chance to bring some sound. Good night, Dad. Good night, Dad. <laughs> what song is that? I'm not hearing it. My brother Graham and Sister Graham Myrna. WPEC, WPEC. Okay. <laughs> Carlton, Harissa, who else? Marisa, Myrna. <laughs> Go, Daddy. Go, Daddy. Hey. Bye, everybody. See you next time. Send me your emails and I'll follow up. Bye-bye. Thank you. Good night.